install our motion detector. Now it is important that when this backing is off uh, to try to be in programming on the keypad. So I've left it in programming. If you don't, it will cause a trouble. Your keypad will beep at you. So while I'm entering the putting the battery in, I make sure I have polarity correct. And then I go ahead and connect this up. And you'll notice that the red light will flash during the first minute. It will not remain flashing to save battery after the first initial minute to minute and a half. You notice I've also installed the 3M. I do not want to put screw holes uh, into this sheetrock. So I'm going to remove the tape. And I want to install this. Now, key is you want it at about six and a half to seven feet according to your instructions. If you have a pet, a large pet, you can turn this upside down and mount it lower on the wall to about waist height of a human being. And then you've eliminated any problems with a large pet setting this off. But in this case, we're not worried about pets. I'm going to mount it right side up. And I'll put it up here at six and a half to seven feet. And I also made sure that the motion detector is not looking at any kind of heat source. That's a fireplace. That's uh, anything that will generate heat. And I'm seeing the largest area I can in this particular part of the house. So once that's installed, that's it. The beeping will stop automatically. Now with motion detectors, it's very important. It only sees motion every three minutes. Now it does not mean it will not see someone crossing through if you're breaking into your house. It means that from the last instance it saw motion, it will not see motion again for another three minutes. Important to keep in mind if you're testing your motion detector and you're wondering why it never went off. Remember that tip. And that's how you install your motion detector.